y'all. It's Debbie with Taylor by Debbie, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little manger scene that you can use as a shelf sitter, or you can put it in a tiered tray. And first, I'm going to tell you the supplies that I use to make this one. First thing you're going to need, and I got this from the Dollar Tree for $1.25, is one of their house frames with the black background. You're going to need some wood dowels. And you, you, um, if you have a Hobby Lobby, I got these from the Hobby Lobby, and they come 24 to a pack for $3 at regular price, but if you wait until they're 50% off, you can get 24 for $1.50, so that's really the best deal. But if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you, they have this choice at the Dollar Tree. There's 15 to a pack for $1.25. These are 12 inches long, these are six inches long. So if you use the one from Hobby Lobby, you only need one. If you use these from the Dollar Tree, you're gonna need two. Okay, then you're also gonna need three Jenga blocks. And I bought the knockoff brand from the Dollar Tree. You get a box of 72 pieces for $1.25. So you're gonna need three of these. Then you're gonna need a package of the little wooden angels that they sell at the Dollar Tree, and then a package of the wood stars, also from the Dollar Tree. Okay, you're gonna need just a piece of sandpaper, and you're gonna need some raffia, and then you're gonna need some ribbon. Um, I got these at different places. The first roll that I got is from the um, Hobby Lobby, and it was $6 regular price. I bought it when it was 50% off, so I got it for $3. This is a wired ribbon, but you don't need it to be for this project. And it's just a neutral gray with some khakis in it. You just want something, whatever your taste, whatever your colors are that you'll want to have in your home. And then the second one I bought, I got at Walmart in their holiday time ribbon section. And it's just almost like a gray flannel and it's not wired. And then the next ribbon that I got, I bought at Dollar Tree. It's just the lace ribbon that they have out all year round. Okay, and it was $1.25. And then this ribbon I got at Walmart, and it's just a thin khaki ribbon with some white border around it. You just need something really thin to use to put around the top of Mary and Joseph's head. Okay, so any ribbons of your choice. And then the um, other supplies that you're gonna need, the tools. I'm borrowing a pair of my husband's um, pliers. These are crimping pliers, and they have a section right here where you can use it to cut things, and that's what I'll use today to cut the wood dowels with, but you could also use a saw or anything else that you could cut the dowels with. Sometimes even a pair of scissors would work. And speaking of scissors, you'll need scissors to cut the ribbon, and you'll also need a hot glue gun, and then you'll also need two beads for Mary and Joseph's head, and I chose to do um, Joseph's head just a little bit bigger than Mary. So this is about a three quarter inch in diameter bead. And this one's just a little bit smaller than that. But any beads that you have on hand will do. And then I also recommend that you use a finger protector um, when you're hot gluing to not burn your finger. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing you're going to need to do is cut your wood dowel. And I cut it into six pieces of varying sizes. And I'll show you with the pliers here how I cut it. But you're gonna first cut one at three inches, one at two and a half, the next one at two, then the next one at one and a half, the next one at one inch, and then that one at three quarters of an inch. Okay, so you're gonna need six pieces all together. And to cut with these, you just measure out the length that you need, and I recommend you hold on to both sides because it's gonna go flying if you don't, and then you just crimp down. And it's gonna cut a little bit jagged, so that's what the sandpaper is for. And how I like to, to sand these little wood dowels is to put the sandpaper down flat on the table and just take the piece of wood and just kind of rub it across the sandpaper to get the rough edges, make it a little bit rounded, more like a finished piece. And since this is a very factory finished edge, I also took it and kind of rounded it off so it would look uniform with the rest of the wood dowel pieces that I cut. So you're just gonna do that for all six pieces. Okay, so we got that done. 
And then you're gonna need your three um, pieces of Jenga block. And we're gonna take our house frame. And the first thing you wanna do is take one of your wood pieces and you wanna hot glue it down right in the center at the bottom. Okay, so just, put, I just put some hot glue kinda down the center of the wood block so it won't squeeze out on each side. And it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all, you know me. Just kinda center it the best you can, mash it down, okay? And then for Joseph, you want to decide whichever side you want Joseph to be on. What you're going to do is you're going to hot glue it down, and you want to kind of make it as tall as you can get it next to where you glued the first wood block. This is going to be um, Joseph's body, and actually I want to put him on this side. So you're just going to hot glue that down over to that side, okay? And then Mary, you can make her shorter just by, you know, gluing her down a little further down. So we're gonna put some hot glue on there. Then turn it over and we're just gonna bring her down a little bit shorter than we did for Joseph. Okay, all right. Then next, we're gonna glue on our manger pieces. Okay, and for this, I recommend putting your hot glue on the Jenga block instead of trying to put it on the little wood dowel piece because you'll burn your fingers. And you'll, I don't use the finger protector until I get to glue in the raffia because I'm just being real careful here. So you just wanna glue these in order from smallest to largest. Okay, just keep going up. Put a little bit of hot glue here. Stick your next next piece down. And we got lots of glue strings, y'all. <laughs> That's kind of a given when you're using hot glue and crafting. You just kind of pull them out of the way. A little trick though, when you're all done, if you still have a lot of hot glue strings, you can take a hair dryer and blow over it, and it'll make all those little stringies disappear. Okay, so we're gonna glue our last one there. And you see where Mary, you don't want Mary's body to be up much higher than the bottom of this. And that'll kind of make it um, a good jumping off point or a good guide to go by so you know that one is taller than the other. That's kind of how I did it anyway. Okay, next step is you're gonna cut the raffia into a bunch of pieces that are three inches long and three inches just because that's about the length. And it looks like I did it a little bit longer than three inches, which is okay. It's just about the length of your, uh, the top of your manger here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna put some glue and we want all this area to be filled in. So you can put glue on top of Mary and that little piece you got left. And then you just kind of want to center it, center it up and then lay it down, okay? Lay it down and then turn it over and the stuff that's not glued will fall off. And we can even put a little bit of glue here under the bottom of Joseph's body. Okay, and then you're gonna put some more glue on top of that and just glue raffia on there until it's even with or a little bit uh, higher up than your wood dowels, okay? And this is where I recommend you wear the finger protector because this gets really hot if you don't, okay? And don't worry if you get a little bit of glue onto any, anything because it'll just peel right off if it like gets onto part of your wood dowels. And we're just gonna continue to add glue and then add straw, kind of get them gathered up and just lay them down and then mash it down here. Then you can turn it over and any that are not glued will fall off. Okay. And then for the top layer, I like to take 
and just get some random pieces and kind of crisscross them so it doesn't all look like it's just laid in there, you know, perfectly. So I put the glue on the actual piece of raffia and then just one at a time, I just kind of randomly crisscross some pieces of raffia over those flat straight across pieces, okay? And you can do this as little or as much as you want just to where you get it to look the way you like it, okay? All right, pull off some of those strings and I think that's good as far as my liking. All right, now we're going to take and cover, um, get ready to cover the beads with fabric after we glue them on. Go ahead and getting some of those strings out of here, <laughs> those hot glue strings, okay. I'm gonna take my beads, and what you wanna do for this is you wanna take and put like a circle, y'all, these hot glue strings are attacking me. Take and put a circle of hot glue around the opening of the bead, okay? And then you wanna take a little bit and put it on one side on the back, and then when you, you put it down, careful not to touch the glue, you want to angle it down so that hole on the bottom is completely covered, okay? It's okay that the top is angled down like that because we're going to be covering it up with fabric, but you just want to mash it down, okay? And then the larger bead, I'm going to put over here for Joseph's head, and we're going to do the same thing. And if there's any blemishes on the beads, just make sure you kind of put that in the back, because you don't want that right in the middle of his face. So you're gonna put a bead of hot glue around it and then a little bit on the back side. And then you wanna take the bead and you want to put this part kind of angling down like so, okay? So now we've attached Joseph and Mary's heads. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the ribbon I like to start off with a clean edge with no fray. So if it's if you got any fray on the end of the ribbon, just go ahead and cut off the end. And then I just measure using my fingers and I like it to be a little bit longer to go down behind the straw. Okay, so just roughly measure. And then we're gonna cut that off and we're gonna take the hot glue and we're going to put a circle of hot glue just around that bead on the top first. Okay, and then we're going to take that piece we cut. And I like to put the ruffled side out, but you want to make sure that you cover up the hole on the top of the bead, okay? And then you're just going to put the rest of it hanging down for now. And I got a little bit on her head and it just peels right off. Okay, so it kind of looks like that on top, and it's okay that it doesn't cover up all that bead in the back. Okay, and the next thing I do is I come over here, and on the very front edge of these wood blocks, I'm just going to put a small bead of glue going down, and then I'm going to take this edge of the ribbon and just kind of lay it down like that, and then we're going to go down behind. the straw like so and that just kind of makes it look like it's clothing you know or the head dress kind of coming down her body here and we're going to do the same thing over here see how easy this is y'all you could use different kind of ribbon you could paint your wood blocks and you could put a little face on them with a magic marker there's all kinds of things you could do for these y'all and they make great gifts you could even, they're not so big that you could even put string on the back and hang this on the tree as a Christmas ornament. But there's Mary. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with Joseph. But for him, I liked to use the gray kind of flannel ribbon. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with Mary. 
just kind of roughly measure it. Cut it off. Whoop. There we go, my scissors are getting dull. Okay, then we're gonna put a, a bead of glue around the bead again. Kind of have a starting point. There we go. And we just wanna make sure the front of the bead and that hole is covered up. See, like that, we want need to pull it down just a little more to cover up the hole in the top of the bead. Okay, like so. There we go. Now it doesn't even look like we used a wood bead because the bottom part, we made sure we angled it to where the hole doesn't show on the bottom. And then on the top, we cover it with the ribbon. So, all right, we're gonna do the same thing to Joseph that we did to Mary. We're just gonna take some hot glue, put a little thin seam of hot glue along the edge. And y'all, it does not have to be perfect. And then just take the edge of the ribbon Tap it down, and if, if it's too long, you can cut it off. Okay. All right, and then the same thing on this side. Just go down and put a little bead of glue. And then just kind of rest his headdress down and... Now we got their headdresses done. We're gonna put the little thinner ribbon that has the white edging, just kind of across the top of their headdress. And here again, I just roughly measure it. So I'm gonna put the bottom of it there and just kind of roughly measure over to this side. Cut it off. And then for this, I'm going to put a bead of glue on the just a thin, as thin as you can get it, a thin bead of glue on the back side of this. And then I'm gonna turn it over, being careful not to touch the hot glue, because it is hot, y'all. And then I'm gonna put that across the top, like so, okay? And that just really dresses that up and makes it look like the headdresses that they used to wear. And you just wanna kinda cover up the the top part, and wanna bring it to that very top edge, okay? Then we're gonna do the same thing with Mary, just roughly measuring. Nothing hard about this, y'all. Does not have to be exact, okay? We're gonna turn it over just like we did for Joseph, and we're gonna put a thin bead of glue on the hot glue, and then we're gonna carefully Turn it over, okay, and put hers on, bring it on around, okay, and you can get your little pieces of hot glue off, okay, looks like I need to mash that down just a little bit more there, okay, so there's Mary and Joseph. Need to put a little bead of glue here. It looks like it dried quicker than I could get it put down. And if that happens, y'all, just put a little more glue. And it'll reheat the hot glue that you already had on there as well. And then push it down. No big tragedy. You do have to work quickly with the hot glue because it will harden pretty fast, especially since now the temperature is getting to be lower. In the summertime, it doesn't happen quite so fast if your room is warmer, but it's a little bit chilly here in Northeast Georgia. Okay, so there's that. Now for baby Jesus, all we need to do is pull off the angel wings. Okay, and then you can just throw them away. And then I'm gonna take the wider ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just gonna cut off a piece about five inches long. Okay, don't worry about the end spraying, it's not gonna matter. Okay, since this is wired and I don't want it to be because I'm using it like fabric, I'm gonna take and pull this out, like just scrunch it down and then pull the wire out of the ribbon. Okay, just throw that away. Do the same thing on the other side. We're just gonna kind of mash it up and then I'm gonna pull out the wire. 
sometimes can be a little tricky. There we go. Okay, now it's just like it's fabric. And I'm gonna take and turn the ribbon upside down. And I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom of my bead. Okay, what I'm gonna do is measure kind of where the head is there, and then I'm gonna stand that up. Okay, so that when I bring it back down, the blanket, quote unquote, is gonna kind of be where we want it to be on baby Jesus, okay? So you're just gonna stand it up like so, and then when you bring it back over, we're just gonna hot glue this material and wrap it around this bead to make it look like a blanket. And this is just kind of how I did it, y'all. It's not, you know, there's no right or wrong way, but I'm just gonna cut this off. So you probably don't need quite five inches, probably three inches would more than likely be enough, but I wanted to make sure I had enough uh, where it wouldn't be too short. And I'm just gonna put a bead glue here there again, you may want to put on your finger protector and just wrap it around, okay, and mash it down. Wrap it around and mash it down. Throw away that. Okay, and then we're going to continue, fold that over and just continue to roll it. We're just going to cut it off to where we have a little bit of overlap from where we glued it there. And we'll just cut it off. Okay. And then we're going to fold it over and wrap it around and glue it down. Okay. Just kind of pull it over. Put some hot glue on here. I'm going to use my finger protector. Mash it down. Don't worry about all those little fray strings because we can just trim them off. Okay, just take your scissors, trim all that extra stuff off. Okay, and now you got baby Jesus. You just want to take that back side and make sure you glue that um, down on the back where it won't be seen. Just get some of those little fray strings off. Okay, get all this out of the way. And then the last step, well, not the last, second to the last step, the star is the very last step. You just want to take your baby Jesus and glue him at the top of where the straw is, okay? And I just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of him and then on the back of his head. And I come up here actually on the body of Mary and Joseph and just angle him a little bit and mash him down, okay? Like so. And if you have any of those little strings, you can just turn it a little bit where it's showing. Just turn it a little bit like that, okay? And then the very last step, I just have one of these wood stars and I'm gonna take it and glue it to the top. And all you wanna do is kinda eyeball where you want the star to be, and then just come on the actual frame, the wood frame house part, put a little bit of glue. And then I wanted to turn the star where one point was straight up and you just kind of mash it on there. And y'all, that is it. Other than getting the little strings off, there's your completed manger. And I sure hope you guys will give this a try. And I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, guys. Have a blessed day.